has it been a big shift for you? Because a lot of people thought it was probably going to be Amir Khan who's going to be fighting Mayweather, and now it's Berto, so it's another fighter of yours. Has it been a big switch in terms of preparing? No, um, because I never entertained it until somebody actually had a fight. So, um, you know, in boxing, you hear all these things. Um, but until it actually materializes, you know, I never looked at it like that. So it, it wasn't a switch. You know, you just go to work. Do you think, like, what is it, like, for you, does it bother you at all that a lot of people are overlooking Birdo in some ways? No, it should bother him. It should bother me. <laughs> you know, you haven't mentioned my name one time, right? No, but do you mean it should bother Berto, or do you mean it should bother me? Or what, like, do you think, because there's some advantage sometimes from coming in as an underdog, because you're, you know, undervalued. Well, it depends on your attitude coming in as an underdog, because coming in as an underdog, when nobody expects you to win, that opens up a door to make a concession within you. Yourself. It could get so tough, you know. I'm not expecting to win. I can lay it down. See? So I think being an underdog is very dangerous, personally, because you don't know mentally how the fighter is going to, you know, could respond in adversity because he's been giving it out. Is there any one thing really that you can do then? Like, because the thing to, for Mayweather is that he's such a defensive genius. I mean, is it a lot of working more on cutting off the ring? Is it anything? Is there any one thing, or is it just like a whole mindset? Or what would you say it is? It's desire. Desire to make things go your way. And if a man has a desire to make things go his way, he's subject to see anything. He might cut the ring off. Hell, he might just run it. You know, he might run and he might charge him, who knows, you know, but as long as I see that desire to win, and so then that, we can keep round after round trying to find a way to win. And that's First he has to have the desire to win. And that's something that you really saw in Berto, or how did you know that with him? Well, he definitely has desire. You know, anytime a man can fight 10 rounds with a broke arm and tore his shoulder, you know, and in pain like that, you can't underestimate his will, you know, and his tolerance for pain and things, eyes closed and, you know, all types of health issues going on and stuff like that. So I don't think that uh, that's a question. His, his desire is definitely there. It's, you know, it's, it's intact. In some ways, is it strange for you, like, being, like, because now you commentate, like, sometimes on PBC, and you do a really good job, actually. Thank but you. then <laughs> he does. <laughs> And going into that, like, and then since Mayweather is very close to PBC in many ways, and fighting him, are there any, like, conflicts that you feel, or is there any, or is it just, you know, what you do one job and you have the other job? No, no conflicts at all, you know. Um, it's just a profession, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm very thankful that I'm able to call it as I see it.